Thank you Lord Almighty. Mtazamaji wangu popote unapotazama na kusalimu kwa jina la Yesu. Nachukua fursa hii kukukaribisha tunapoendelea na neno la Mungu ambalo Daudi alitambua dio taya miguu yake. Before tuendelee nitaomba kwa jina la Yesu. Mfalme wa falme Mungu mtakatifu. Mungu mwenye rehema na neema zote na kupa sifa na utukufu. Asanti kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. Kwa maana ni siku ya baraka na ushindi. Kwa maana unaenda kunena na mtu aliye chini ukamuinue, aliye kufa loho ama kukata tamaa ukamuongezee nguvu mpya. Nasalimisha ibada hii mikononi mwako Roho Mtakatifu Tamaraki. Kanitumie kamba chombo nikanene mahusia yako kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Nasalimisha hewa hii ikawe ni hewa takatifu ambayo roho utapata nafasi yako. Na nyenyekea in your able hands believing and trusting in Jesus name. Amen. Tunaendelea na neno la Bwana ambalo lina mada ya be still. Be still ni neno ambalo tunalihitaji uwe mfarume uwe governor ama uwe nani neno hilo la kuwa still ni neno ambalo ni la kila mtu ni kwa sababu Yesu Kristo alipokuwa anafundisha alisema when the storms come Hakuna wakati Yesu Kristo alisema maishani akutakuwa na storms Ninasikia ama umeshaona kwa mitandao kuna mambo mingi inaendelea hata kuna huduma zinajiita stop suffering ministries I want to tell you as a child of God at our fast the whole year continuously Jesus hakuna mahari aliondoa the place of testing Akasema kuna mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa mwelevu na akajenga nyumba yake mahali kwa mwamba kwa sababu storms wakati zilikuja na dhoruba lazima zingeweza kudhibitisha ni nyumba ya nani ilikuwa sawa sawa Mimi na wewe tuko nyumba ambayo Biblia inasema our body is the temple of God na nyumba yoyote ya mfalme ama ya nani itapitia changamoto but kile kitasababisha upenye pale it's your ability to be still how are you going to be still kwa still wa, watu wengi wametumia vibaya unakuta mtu ya kwamba hayendi kazi anakaa pale akisema Niko hapa na mgojea Bwana. Which is unscriptural ni kwa sababu inaweza ashiria resonance ama irresponsibility. Wakati kama a child of God we are irresponsible tunanyima Mungu nafasi yake ya utukufu ni kwa sababu wanaoona wa irresponsibility wataweza ku question the power of god in our lives so huwezi kaa pale chini alafu unasema unagoja bwana hana wakati alikuwa tasa hakukaa pale ati anagoja bwana she went on and on into the temple mahali ambapo alijua msaada uko na akaenda pia alikuwa anatoa sadaka kwa ajili ya jambo ile ni kwa sababu alielewa ya kwamba hangekaa pale kwa nyumba 
anagojea Mungu ya kwamba atamkujia pale. Unless Mungu amekuambia ya kwamba kaa kwa nyumba be still there, but many a times God atakuambia as you are waiting upon him you must be on the walk. Lakini on the walk you are not walking looking at your surroundings, you are not walking looking unto men but you are walking in this life ukimtazama yeye alianza kazi katika maisha yako tukaangalia tukaona the other day ya kwamba mtu wa Mungu aliyekuwa anaitwa Abraham alikuwa na kila sababu ya kuweza kuquestion Mungu ya kuweza kuquestion ahadi za Mungu kwa sababu kile ambacho walipitia na ile mambo alikuwa ameahidiwa hayakuingana wakati mwingi nafasi ambayo uko itakosa kulingana na ile maisha unaishi na hiyo si kumaanisha ya kwamba Mungu amedanganya Galatia the book of Hebrews says it is impossible for God to tell a lie Mungu hatawahi kudanganya ameambiliwa mambo mengi lakini tunaona ya kwamba lazima lazima angeendelea ku overcome kwa sababu aliweza kuelewa ya kwamba aliyahidi ni mwaminifu today i come to encourage you ya kwamba you must be still no matter what comes your way the bible in the book of psalms kitabu cha zaburi 46 biblia inasema ya kwamba verse 10 be still and know that i am god i will be exalted among the heathens I will be exalted in the earth. Be still and know that I am God. The only way to know who God is is for you to be still. The Bible inasema ya kwamba in Romans ya kwamba we have been made more than conquerors. They are conquerors and they are more than conquerors for you to be a conqueror there are contests ambazo utapigana vita utakazo pigana ili ukaweze kuwa mshindi watu kina Jephthah wa conquerors watu kina Samson wa conquerors they used to fight and they overcome lakini hawakutumia nguvu zao lakini mahara hapa katika Yesu tumeambiwa we are more than conquerors how are you more than a conqueror for you to be more than a conqueror more than a conqueror inazidi hiyo ya conqueror hoi conqueror saa zingine utasema niliomba sana na Mungu amenijibu diposa nimepata hiyo proti diposa nimepata hiyo kazi lakini kuna mahali pengine more than a conqueror ambayo si wewe unapigana tena si wewe unashindana tena ni kwa sababu ni Mungu mwenyewe anapigana ndani yako ili akakupe ushindi. Kwa hiyo siku ya leo for you to know that God is for who God is you must be still no matter what you see because when you read in the book of 1 John Biblia inasema ya kwamba the things that we saw the things that we heard the things that we have hold held in our hands we declare to you what did they see They were able to see the invisible. Wakati mwingine utakuta ya kwamba sauti zilizoko nje ziko na kelele sana na hiyo kelele saa zingine inakupatia uoga, inakupatia hofu, inakupatia wasiwasi. Wewe sio wa kwanza. 
na wewe siye wa mwisho nataka kuambia ya kwamba the secret is to be still how do you how can you be still unaniamba unaniamba una, unaweza niuliza nitakuaje still na ili hali ninaumwa na ili hali deli ninabishiwa mrango na beki na sako ya na chama ya kwamba deni unafaa ulipe how am i going to be still for you to be still one of the things that make you to be still as a child of god is through knowledge knowledge is power as they say knowledge bibina sema ya kwamba let peace and grace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of jesus christ and the knowledge of god our father let grace and peace be multiplied for you to have that stillness that inner peace that inner assurance you must know god how do you know god you must know how he did you must know how he operates you must know what he hates you must know what he loves and when you are in that situation you will understand that it is not for you to tense why because yes wakauza wanafusu wake kwa kujisumbua kwako unaweza ongeza unywele wako unaweza ongeza maisha yako kwa kujisumbua you can't because utaelewa ya kwamba there are limitations in men hata mtu wa Mungu unaweza muendea na yeye ana limitations wakati mwingine mnapotuona tukiguruma si ya kwamba hakuna mambo the other day i had my son ambaye yako grade 8 amevimba upande wa right Amevimba amevimba tukafikiria ni uvimbe wa kawaida tukaomba na tukaona ya kwamba venye tunaomba ndio uvimbe unaendelea kuwa mkubwa. Na wakati mwingine ndio usilete vita katika nyumba hata kama una hiyo peace utaambia mama yenyewe enda kwa hospitali aangalie. Na wakati unaenda kuangaliwa mara ya kwanza akaambiwa oh hii ah ni uvimbe tu ya kawaida ni infection ya kawaida kunywa antibiotics ni sawa Antibiotics amekunywa one week hakuna kitu inafanyika instead uvimbe unaendelea Haya tukarudisha pale what is happening akaambiwa wacha tubadilishe hii dose tupatie ingine na the same case continues He tunaomba bado tunaamini Mungu what next Ikawa sasa hapa kinaendelea kikiumana kama venye wengi wanasema but inside me I've been training and I am training to no matter what comes my way I always hold my peace I am always still kwa sababu ninajua ya kwamba wakati wowote hiyo kitu inakuja it is either to bring you down or to make you strong why because nothing comes your way which is uncommon hakuna kitu itakuja maisha yako ambayo haijakuja kwa wengine but there is a secret of being still mara ya mwisho huyu daktari amesema hapana hii kitu inakaa siyo aliita ugonjwa wa gani siyo bone matiozi zama what ati ni, ni hii joe ama bone imefura na lazima iende level 5 ndio iweze kuangaliwa na mambo kama yale tukana mahali pengine amefanywa two tests ambazo wenye wametumana afanywe test ambazo ni expensive wanasema oh huyu labda ni tb imejificha hapo nikauliza tb what TB inafanya nini? Inaweza pata aje access pale. Na ikaendelea hivyo wapendo wanataka kuambia ya kwamba those reports saa zingine hizo kelele unasikia na huko saa zingine ignore the devil. It is not always wakati si kila wakati umbo inayokubwekea uirushie mawe saa zingine ignore itacho itapiga kelele na inanyamaza yenyewe. So tumeenda na ikawa sasa hapa ni kuona sasa mbele lakini huyu kijana juu anamfundisha akaelewa njia za Mungu i always train them to be stern 
in faith to be strong in faith singependa mahali popote ya question the power of god ju saa zingine mnaomba unamwambia kesho yake itakuwa iko sawa sawa so imefika mahali sasa hata harari hey tukaona sasa hapa iko shida so before nina nikauliza god what is this Umeniambia mambo ya kuponya makansa mambo ya ku nini viwete viwete kutembea what is this uvimbe ambao inatusumbua hapa hii mambo madaktari wanasema ni nini but i want to tell you Mungu akanipatia revelation tukafanya kitu kidogo na mamake nikaelewa ndani ya hiyo kuna usaha uko pale na huo usaha si venye wanasema boni imefura so tukawekelea kitu kingine ambayo ilitoa na the following day kawa ni ya kwamba kuna usaha unatoka na wakati alienda pale tuozizi kutoa huo usaha why because the report ambayo ilikuja mbele ilikuwa ya kutuweka wasiwasi ya kwamba ni TB ya kwamba ufupa umefura wewe ushaona ufupa gani imefura I, 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 I believe ya kwamba maso ndizo zinafura mfupa itafura aje but it is the tempt of the devil to make you fear and when you fear god is absent god is not calling us to fear why for he has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power the spirit of love but the spirit of a sound mind as i am talking to you that matter is settled na maisha inaendelea why we are not going to die but we are going to live and declare the works of the lord how can you declare the works of the lord whereas vitu vidogo inafanya ukimbie imagine yesu kristo ambaye ni bwana wa mabwana ni mungu wa miungu ameambiwa oh masa rafiki yako lazaro amegonjeka na amegonjeka na unata, unajua rafiki yako akiwa na ishu fulani the expectations ama kile kinapaswa kwa rafiki yeyote ni ku intervene ama kufanya jambo lolote la ku salvage your situation either you lend a hand either utumana upatie eh, mawaidha ama umu encourage mambo kama yale but pengine ni kama wakati huu wa social media pengine Yesu Kristo angeandika hii watu wanaandikia watu QR quick recovery but hata kikwambia quick recovery anasema hivyo wajiondoe pale because they are less concerned if at all they are anakuambia QR anakuambia hey, pona haraka nafuya haraka pole sana lakini Yesu Kristo was not bothered but Christ not being bothered did not mean that he did not care Sisemi ya kwamba he was not bothered ya kwamba aliangalia tu rafiki yake agonjeke hivyo No he had a plan he had an assurance he knew what he was to do and what he was to do that is what Lazarus needed not what people thought watu wangesema huyu ni rafiki wa aina gani ambaye mwezake amegojeka na anaendelea na shughuli zake kama kawaida anaendelea na injili na huko kama kawaida anaendelea na miujiza si kwanza aende kwa rafiki yake he did not do that because that was not a priority hiyo kitu ambayo inakusumbua is not a priority because your priority my priority is god because you shall love the lord your god with all your heart when god is your number one every Everything else will be secondary. Diseases will be secondary. Lack will be secondary. Poverty will be secondary. Why? When God is number one and He is our focus, what He gives us is stillness. Be still and know that I am God. So tunaona ya kwamba Yesu Kristo amedadia amekawia ame siku mpaka ile jamaa amego amekufa akakaa siku ile katika kaburi na mambo kama yale. What did he, was was in Jesus caring? He cared as he cares today. He understand all that. He knows your pain. He knows your fears, but he is telling you and me be still and know that I am God. Tunaona ya kwamba baadaye tuna 
unajua mambo ilifanyika na Lazaro mahali ambapo ye, e, hawa jamaa wanasema amenuka Yesu wanasema uh-uh. wakati ambapo ninajua Mungu wangu mahali ambapo nimetoka we don't speak that language hiyo si language ya ufalme wetu ya kwamba mtu amekufa how can he die he cannot die he is only asleep what a man who is thinking is only asleep yes to the people he is dead but to him who is calling us to be still he is just asleep it's a matter of time he wake up na hivyo ndivyo ilifanyika so when you are still there is a language that you communicate with the language of fear eliminates out of your system The language of doubt eliminate out of your system and the language of defeat inaondoka maishani mwako. Why? Because you start speaking not according to the situation but you start speaking according to what the handra of the situation speaks. Kitu ambayo imekufa sijui ni nini imekufa maishani mwako Yesu Kristo hasemi imekufa anasema imerara wakati unaona biashara imeenda chini wacha kusema imekufa sema imerara na unapotangaza iamuke kwa hiyo nguvu inaweza amuka why in our kingdom in our in our environment we don't speak ya kwamba i can't the other day i was watching Uh, nikisoma wa Chinese kuna slogan wanakuaga nayo hawasemagi i can't wanasemaga i won't so i can't i won't yani hana terminology ya siwezi yeye terminology yake ni sitafanya kwa hivyo hana excuse ya kutofanya chochote excuse atakuwa nayo ni kusema sifanyi na hiyo hiyo nikaona even though they are unbelievers kuna kitu ambayo tunafaa tusome pale why because many a times you say i am at my end who told you that mara mingi mambo ambayo tunaongea si mambo ambayo source yake ni kwa Mungu why because when you are still not just being still but being still with the assurance of who is in control utaweza kusikia sauti yake why because you shall hear a voice behind you telling you this is the way when you try to go right left or right kuna sauti itakwambia mwanangu wacha kupitia pare this is the way and one of the way to overcome is for you to be still be still and i know I know that I am God I will be exalted among the heathen and I will be exalted among in all the earth Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tunaona ya kwamba wakati mwingine utakuti ya kwamba unachekelewa Tukiana na huyo kijana yangu watu ni nini huyu huyu amefanya nini watu wanataka kuuliza hiyo not that they are concerned wanataka wapate maneno ya ku create a mountain out of nothing na wakati mwingine hiyo mountain inakuwa na kelele kelele ambazo zinakuweka unakuwa mtu wasiwasi kelele ambazo zinafanya unakosa amani kelele ambazo zinafanya usikaweze kumtazamia Mungu tunaona ya kwamba there is, eh, for you to be more than a conqueror si wewe sasa unapigana it is the glory of god at stake imagine you are a moses na wewe ukuwa musa mumekimbizwa nyuma mumekimbizwa ana mbele kuna hatari hiyo hatari unashangaa utakimbia nyuma utakimbia mbele utaenda wapi what do you do in such a situation you cannot even pray wakati mwingine tunaji encourage hii jambo ambalo napitia nitaenda mlimani nitaomba siku saba nitaomba siku ishirini na moja nitaomba nitafast siku arobaini sasa hapa hakuna hata hiyo time kwa sababu hakiri sasa inapiga ikipiga ikipiga kwa sababu this is an enemy behind and before you is a threat death threat But I don't care what is facing you what is glaring at you I have news ya kwamba the one 
who hold your life is saying this thing. Yaani Musa anaenda anabia hao majamaa ya kwamba stand still. Stand still. Yaani wewe Musa una kichwa mzuri. To stand still na hawa ni maadui wanakuja. Kwani wewe unafanya mahesabu gani? Ni kwa sababu mahesabu pengine ingekuwa ni kusarenda to the enemy. I don't know whether you are the point of surrender but our only surrender is not to the enemy but our surrender is to the king of kings and the lord of lords why when we surrender to him he uplifts us anatupatia nguvu na neema ya kuweza kuendelea why because the strength inside is what determines our victory is what determines our testimony you cannot have testimony where you are weak inside where you are fear of inside where you are crushed inside let whatever is happening around you don't to dictate what is happening inside you because the bible says above all things guard your heart with all diligence when your heart is stronger out of stillness when your heart is stronger out of looking to Jesus i don't care what is happening around you but the good news is that when you are inside is stronger anything else can pave way for you ni kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine ambapo utaondolewa kwa jambo lile na kuna wakati ambapo utafaa upitie pale mimi ombi yangu si ya kwamba upitie ombi yangu ni uondolewe uondolewe pale lakini i want to encourage you if that thing is for the glory of god you better endure you better hold on to him you better go on soldiering on because he will not leave you he cannot forsake you Nilikuwa nafikiria nikaone ya kwamba I need to mature up Ukristo wangu unafaa kuongezeka kwa nini look at the acts of the apostle 7 Jamaa pale hajaibia mtu hajakosea mtu lakini ametangaza ujumbe wa ukweli na watu wamekaa pale wamechukua mawe Stephen wanachukua mawe wanaanza kumrushia moja wanamrushia wanampiga mawe na yeye anasema oh ha, he could not see his own mawe yeye alisema all i see is the son of god seated at the right hand of the father what you are not seeing these people hurting you these people trying to kill you these people who are who are angry with you he did not see that why inside him he was still he understood that God was with him when God is with you you must be still knowing that you are going to overcome even that Jamaa kaangalia na badala yake badala ya kas anasema oh forgive them father for they don't know what they are doing can i say that today then kwa hiyo naambia Mungu oh God help me to mature up because as long as I'm a child in the matters of the spiritual even though I'm a king I may continue living as a slave why this man death was not an issue mtu kama petero haangalia kwamba anauawa death was not a factor to them the only thing he minded was how do i die do i die like my master he said no i cannot die i cannot be crucified the way you crucified my master they crucify me upside down what what was in that man that man is the man who the other day ran alikimbia kwa sababu watu wameshika Yesu na ameambiwa hata wao si ulikuwa na wao akaenda akamkana mara akamkana mara tatu na yule ye jamaa anasema no it is not in that in that manner again i am ready not only to die but i am ready to be with my master but one thing i don't want is to be crucified like my master so as i finish i want to urge you my brother my sister life is so good life is so beautiful when we have god on our side because
principles, the assurance, and the peace of God that passes understanding will always guard and loom over our hearts. But when you are away from God, don't expect anything less than tumult, less than chaos and disasters. It is a chance for you to turn to God and to call upon him and to surrender to him and not to surrender to the enemy and not to surrender to Babylon and not to surrender to the Egyptians and not to surrender to sin or waywardness. In the name of Jesus. Come on, Yesu Mashiako. This is the high time. This is the light chance for you. And God is going to visit you. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. I'm Pastor David, uh, firstborn Christian Church Moshada. And God and the Lord Jesus is my king. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the mighty God, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. I give you glory. Thank you for your word. Thank you because you have called us to be still to know that you are God. That is what we are going to do. That is what the viewer is going to do. They are not going to be anxious. They are not going to learn how to skelter looking for help because the help of man is futile. But your help is permanent. Your help is dependable. Bless them and do them good. Lift them those who are down. My father, heal them those who are sick. Encourage the discouraged and make a way for those who my father says there is no way. In the name of Jesus. Thank you because of the power of resurrection. Because whatever is dead in their life is resurrecting to the glory and honor of your name. Thank you, Father God, because this TV. You are going to bless it. You are going to take it to their heights that my father, no devil can interfere in the mighty name of Jesus. And even all those that work there to the glory of God the Father. Thank you for the meeting, my father, at this weekend. Oh, my father, for the healing of this nation. May you intervene in all situations. Let your purpose and your will prevail above all things in the mighty name of Jesus. Be glorified forevermore in Jesus mighty name. God bless you. My number is there. You can call me. You can contact me. Thank you for those who have been